Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in this planet. And let's get in there like swimwear. Now, I'm being guided to share a story with you all. Either show me what it is I need to see. All right. I, uh, some of you may know I went through about a PTSD and I'm truly healed from that. OK, the PTSD came from trauma. Now, why is this important? I was dealing with someone that was very karmic in nature. Right now, this person, I shared uh, some stories with this person. And one of those stories being that I was shot before. Now, some of you, you know, um, some of you, you may know this. Some of you may not. Um, if you're new to the channel, okay, I was shot trying to save something that God clearly wanted me to end. Okay. So it took me to be shot and left for dead for this situation to end. Now this individual felt like, um, it was funny. Okay. To pull a gun on me, right. To pull a gun on me. Now I was shot on the 4th of July. I actually thought it was fireworks. Okay. Bullets was passing, like in the movies, you know, bullets was passing past my head through my, from, um, passing by my head or whatever. I thought somebody was throwing, uh, fireworks at me. So this individual, you know, <laughs> my guys are saying a wankster. He thought it was funny to pull out a gun on me. All right. So we actually had a tussle and, uh. He ended up dropping the gun, and I had the gun in my hand, all right? Now, at that point, uh, my trauma, you know, the trauma that I had, uh, if I wouldn't have been thinking rationally, I would have shot him, okay? So some of you, you are dealing with people that push you. They push your buttons. They use your trauma against you, all right? We're going to find out why this is important. The 4th of July is significant to somebody that this story resonates with. Be mindful of the 4th of July, okay? Either show me what it is I need to see. Some of you could be Cancers or Leos. Show me. Yeah, this is a story that needs to be told and someone doesn't want the t story told, all right? Somebody wants to narrate uh, your story, okay? I'm also hearing scapegoat. Look at this. Look how this is coming out. So I'm telling you, somebody is definitely, I'm, I'm getting some anxiety here. All right. Some of you may have been in the war. I didn't know what PTSD was until I went to therapy. I used to call it wartime syndrome. And I, I, the therapist told me exactly what it was because, see, where I come from, if you go see a doctor, you're crazy. They label you as crazy, all right? Uh, yeah, eclipse and Taurus, reevaluation. So somebody's definitely reevaluating a situation or they need to, all right? After you went through some healing, some of you, you are healing now. My story may be healing to some of you. I'm hearing you can overcome adversity, serve your higher purpose, eclipse in Pisces, free will. So this is about your faith. Okay. There's major changes happening. Some of you, you need to center yourself. Some of you, you may not believe in meditation or you may not, you may have a problem with sitting with yourself and being alone. Okay. But you find out a lot of things about yourself when you go into hermit mode. Okay. Align yourself with love and wisdom, sun and Pisces. A higher purpose. All right. This is about collaboration, mind, body, and spirit, or collaboration with people that are like minded. A change of heart, eclipse in Taurus. Okay. So there's a lot of changes happening. So right now, you are in this healing phase. Okay. Somebody is definitely looking at you different with eclipse in Virgo. Reorganization. Choose duties and responsibilities carefully. So yeah, you definitely have to um, be mindful of who you collaborate with and who you share your stories with, okay? These stars is, is shining here. There's something about the red moon that could be significant about a red moon. I'm mean, also hearing a pink moon with the solar eclipse being, is it solar eclipse? It must be a solar eclipse. All right, so what that is telling me is somebody's waiting for results here, okay? Somebody could be waiting for results from a test, 
I'm also hearing lead poisoning for some of you. We have Eclipse and Leo, all these eclipses, okay? Shine brightly like the star you are. That came out in the previous reading, okay? So this is about your fortune. This is about fate. Some of you, you know that I align fate with responsibility or accountability, all right? Somebody didn't take responsibility for their actions. I'm also hearing protagonists, so this person may antagonize you, okay? Um, they want to keep you trapped, okay, in some negative mind state. They want you to be fearful of new beginnings. They want you, yeah, they want you to be fearful of collaborations, eclipse and Pisces, okay? So somebody had free will. We all have free will, okay? So somebody had free will. I feel like they opted out of a partnership with you. This person didn't have faith, okay? They didn't have faith in what you believe in. You had love for this person, okay? <laughs> So this is about rapid movement. This is about energy. Let's see. Why is Eight of Wands here? Somebody was very selfish and egotistical is what I'm getting, okay? This would be a Pisces in a lower vibration for some of you. You could be a Pisces or a Taurus, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. You had to focus on yourself to get your finances together, all right? You went through some sort of healing. Right now, you may be reorganizing things. Some of you, you are moving, all right? Somebody come, somebody's coming in, all right? Or somebody came in in the past, okay? This could have been a soulmate with the lover's card being here. It could be a Gemini, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. We have nine of cups. Now, somebody was greedy, all right? This person may have been going back and forth between you and a past life soulmate or a karmic soulmate or something like that. This person couldn't make a choice about a situation, okay? I'm hearing that it was money involved. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you had to balance your energy, okay? You had to balance your masculine and feminine energy. Some of you, you're dealing with people that may feel like you operate too much in your masculine energy, okay? But I do feel like it's because of the way you were raised. For others of you, if you are a male, some people may feel like you are too emotional, but that is definitely uh, Pisces energy. I believe that's a feminine energy, right? Whether if you're male or female, I'm trying to tell you Knight of Wands, all right, this person didn't know the purpose. They didn't understand your purpose. And they definitely went back and forth between you and a past life. I'm hearing a, a karmic, okay? Somebody that they had a soul tie with. All right, this person may have found uh, felt bound to a situation. Somebody could have a moon in Pisces, rising Pisces, sun, or Taurus. This could be one person, or this could be several people that you had to heal from, as well as Virgo. Uh, something could be happening for you in Virgo season. We have three of swords, so definitely this is about a partnership, okay? I feel like this person's heart was broken. Something else could be coming out by Leo season, something that someone tried to hide from you, okay? I feel like what they tried to hide from you is a partnership. This partnership ended with the death card being here. You could be, look at that. You could be a Scorpio. What is this? Now somebody's in regret, okay? So all those individuals that they paid attention to has backstabbed them, okay? They have uh, poured out their cup of love. Now for some of you, this person obsessively goes after low vibrational people to try and tame them, okay? And, you know, if you show this person love, they back away from you, okay? So, essentially, uh, they do to you what is done to them, okay? This person keeps going back to the past. This may resonate with the last reading that I did, all right, which is uploading now. This is the third filming of the day. I don't know how these... Uh, readings are going to come out. Lately, they've been coming out all jumbled. But it's, that is in align with Mercury retrograde. Some of you may be experiencing some technical difficulties. I feel like somebody is going to discover something from the past. Okay? Oh, yeah. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody that's codependent. Somebody that's envious here, okay? Somebody doesn't like the fact that you like being single is what I'm getting. Why is Taurus here? 
I'm hearing this person wife the hoe. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Whoever this is and is not a wise energy, they're definitely experiencing some financial setbacks. Why is uh, Eclipse and Taurus here? So this person is being forced to reevaluate uh, a situation. Yeah, they could be spying on you, okay? But I do feel like this person was mentally conflicted in the past. They were operating out of uh, a childlike energy. This person has arrested development. Yeah, they were indecisive in the past, okay? So you possibly had to cut this person off, all right? You had to heal yourself. You used your work as a, as a means of healing, okay? Or you're going to do that going forward okay so there should be some sort of change happening for you by virgo season yeah choose duties and responsibilities carefully all right so i feel like again some of you this person may have invested into someone that they had a child with okay for some of you this person is younger or you could be this younger person for some of you this is happening uh in your child's if you have older children, this is what's happening in their life. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, we have a competition here. Somebody's backstabbing you or backstabbing multiple people. You see that look?